This is video number six of the Balance of Payments mini series. This video um, will have high level only content. In this video, I'm going to explain the Marshall Lerner condition and the J curve effect. So let's get started. So we've seen from previous videos that a currency devaluation or depreciation, so a fall in the exchange rate, whether it's deliberate as a result of devaluation or depreciation, will make exports relatively cheaper. So foreign, foreigners, it will be cheaper for them to buy the country's exports and also imports relatively more expensive. In theory, this should improve the current account deficit. However, this will only improve the current account deficit if the foreign demand for exports is elastic and or the domestic demand for imports is elastic because then consumers are actually sensitive or responsive to those um, chain changes in the relative prices of imports and exports. So the Marshall Lerner condition is basically this is the Marshall Lerner condition. It says the sum of the price elasticity of demands, PEDs, for imports and exports must be greater than 1. So PED exports plus PED imports should be greater than 1. And this is for um, a depreciation or a devaluation to actually improve the current account deficit. Now, according to the Marshall Lerner condition, if the combined price elasticity of demand of exports plus imports is less than one, then a currency devaluation or depreciation will actually worsen the current account deficit. Why? Because domestic demand for imports is inelastic. And so domestic consumers are unlikely to respond to the rise in the price of imports by cutting down their consumption. At the same time, foreign demand for exports is also inelastic. And so foreign consumers are unlikely to respond to the fall in the price of exports by buying more. So according to the Marshall Lerner condition, a currency devaluation or depreciation will only improve the current account deficit if the combined price elasticity of demand for both exports and imports is greater than one. If it's less than one, a devaluation or depreciation will actually worsen the current account deficit. This brings us to the second um, topic in this video, which is the J-curve effect. What is the J-curve effect? Basically, the J-curve effect is an economic model that shows the effect of a currency depreciation or devaluation over time, illustrating that the trade balance is likely to get worse before it gets better. Why? Because if you'll remember back when we did elasticities in microeconomics, we know that in the short run, firms are likely to be bound by importing and exporting contracts and consumers are unlikely to change their consumption habits. In the short run, demand is likely to be very inelastic. People take time to adjust their consumption patterns. But over time, we know that in the long run, demand becomes more elastic. So over time, demand becomes more elastic. And so foreign consumers begin to demand more of the country's exports due to the devalued or depreciated currency and domestic consumers begin to demand less imports or switch to domestic alternatives. So the Jacob effect um, basically claims that in the short run, demand is likely to be very inelastic. So a depreciation or devaluation won't really um, improve the current account deficit, but rather it will make it worse. But over time, demand becomes more elastic and so foreign consumers begin to respond to the depreciation or devaluation, and so do domestic consumers. This is what the J-curve effect um, looks like diagrammatically. Okay? You plot the relationship between the trade balance, which is the difference between exports and imports, against time. And um, uh, the vertical axis, you've got positive surplus up here, or a negative or deficit up here and as you can see the current account deficit at the beginning when there's a devaluation or depreciation will actually get worse initially before it starts to improve and start to get better this is the j-curve effect 
Now, the J-curve effect will only materialize if the Marshall Lerner condition holds, meaning only if the combined price elasticities of demand for both exports and imports are greater than one. The J-curve effect will only actually um, occur if both exports and imports have um, elastic demand. In other words, consumers, both domestic and foreign, need time to adjust their spending patterns and to respond to changes in the relative prices of exports and imports due to a fall in the exchange rate. I hope this video has helped you understand the Marshall Lerner condition and the J-curve effect and how they relate to each other. Thank you very much.